Hi guys, all right? Hope you're all right. We're all right here. My name's Nick. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I talk about my journey with MS, our lifestyle and doTERRA essential oils. Please don't hesitate to subscribe by clicking the red button below, creating a Google account. And if you're going through similar, please give us a thumbs up. So as you can see from the title of this video, I am going to talk about insomnia, not being able to sleep, but mine's really waking up of a night. It's not really in insomnia, but I know that people with MS do suffer with in insomnia. So mine is very borderline. I'll tell you about mine and, and some techniques and tips I use to get back to sleep. So overall, I'm a good sleeper. I can sleep with, as you saw, I sleep with, I sleep with an eye mask because the blinds are quite light and let in the sunlight in the morning quite early. So I use this and I have pillows on the bed, as you can see, so I can use them to sit up when I'm awake in the night. Now the first one that gets me awake in the night is I do get very burpy and very uh, you know digestion issues and I have to sit up and I can still feel my dinner going down that kind of thing so A I have to make sure I eat in the evening quite early not late at not eating late at night, you know, snacks of an evening don't fare well with me because I get very burpy and if I have a late meal, I know that I feel very bloated and I use this product, I'll put it here, just a digestion product to help digest my food and I just roll it on my tummy. So that's the doTERRA. Digest Zen, and as I say, this is the picture. So that helps a lot. So that's one thing that keeps me awake or wakes me up, and therefore not being able to get back to sleep. The other main thing that wakes me up is those of you who watch this channel will know that I am constantly itching. Here, you can see how bad it is here. I get very hot, and that's an MS thing. And then I itch, as you can see, very itchy, very dark here, where I've been scratching, and definitely round here. I'm sure it's not coming up very well, but very scratchy. I have to keep my hair up when I sleep because I get very scratchy here and in my head, which I have posted a video of before. The scratching in my head. I've been given steroids and I'm awaiting to see a dermatologist. So I'm not sure if I told you that, but yeah, still waiting. Um, just using the the steroid cream if it gets really bad but normally I can just wet it with cool water use my ice block that kind of thing and and normally when I cool down I can get back to sleep but I'm sleeping with the cooling blanket and trying to keep as cool as possible because the heat being an being that we're in Australia, Western Australia, it's very warm here and it's still summer and the warmth and the hot weather is keeping me awake. So again, that's insomnia. That's my insomnia. So how I get back to sleep? Normally, I do like to listen to a podcast mainly the ones and i'll put the picture on here the sleepy ones 
or I listen to the diary of the C the diary of a CEO is a really good one, informative, or I just like to listen to movies, movie podcasts. So that's a selection of what gets me back to sleep if I'm woken up. So obviously as a toilet run, if I am awake and sometimes a glass of milk will help or a drink of water. And just some advice for being sensible if you do have trouble sleeping. That's common sense to me that I wouldn't drink a sports drink or an energy drink before bed. And I tend to lay off and I try not to drink too much alcohol as I know that also can affect sleeping. A couple of solutions which help me get back to sleep as you can see i have a fan by the bed to keep me cool maybe a drink of herbal tea of an evening and lavender doTERRA essential lavender which i'll put here also helps so a couple of solutions that help me so that's me in a nutshell. So that's me at the night time with what I call my insomnia. I do relatively sleep through quite a lot. And if I do wake up, I, as I say, can get to sleep. I hope me sharing my story has helped. I know some people are awake two or three or four or five, six hours in the night and don't even sleep so i count myself very lucky and definitely mine is minimal obviously if you are going through difficult times sleeping please see your gp don't take my word for it so can i take this opportunity to thank you for watching if you're watching till now give us a thumbs up if you're going through similar please don't hesitate to subscribe and I'm wishing you a good week. Take care, be kind, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yes, as you can see, I haven't put any touch-up makeup on. As you can see, dark circles are a part of maybe lack of sleep, so. I've kept, kept my circles to show you.